in downtown Royal Oak. Curtis and I have tried to come here a ton of times, but it closes at 6, so it always closes before we can come. But today we rushed down here, and it's uh, 5.20, so let's see if uh, we can see what's inside. Let's take a look. from scratch cupcakes. <laughs> Just call me cupcake. <laughs> they'll order, they'll get 10 pounds of them and you get about 30 to 35 in a pound. But like I said, we'll have like a variety of 20 different ones. It's your Anna's flavor. Okay. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Mmm, I got it. so interesting. <laughs> it does. It tastes like black licorice. All day yesterday, I was in the middle room and I could smell it. <laughs> I'm going, where are they? They were in the back of the bakery and I could smell them mm. way up wow. in the front. I'm like, I can smell them. I can smell squealers. Bakery had to close at 6 and Curtis and I had to leave, so we walked home and here are all of our goodies for us to try. First up is the New York cheese. Surprisingly, satisfying in both a meaty and a chocolatey way, which I guess is what you'd expect from chocolate covered bacon. Trying <laughs> the cheese uh, roll. You know what would go great with this? Ham and love. Overall, Herman's Bakery was incredible. There were two lovely ladies in there that explained to us the entire history of the place how everything is made, and when to get what baked good. The prices were incredibly cheap. It's a great location. I'm just sad it's not open more, but you should definitely check it out. It's right on Main Street in downtown Royal Oak. This has been Looking Local, and for Every Day by Tay, I'm signing out. This cheesecake is so good that I feel like a dog with peanut butter stuck to the roof of my mouth.